Here are the solutions for the mock exam for arithmetic sequences and series. Um, a woman deposits $100 into her son's savings account on his first birthday, second birthday, $125, 150 on his third birthday, and so on. So 100 on his first birthday, um, second birthday, 125 150 on the third birthday. How much money would she deposit on the 17th birthday? Okay, this is U1, this is U2, this is U3. They want to know what's U17. Well, U17 is U1 plus N minus 1 times D. And N minus 1 is 17 minus 1, right? Because this is N. U1 is 100. What's D? Well, the jumps here are 25, right? Plus 25, plus 25. So D is 25, right? So D is 25. U1 is 100. And now we have everything we need. 100 plus 17 minus 1 times 25. So 100 plus 17 minus 1, which is 16 times 25, 500. So for his 17th birthday, she gives him $500, okay? How do we know we're supposed to use the U formula and not the S formula? Well, because um, how much does he get on his 17th birthday? Not on, it's not a total of his first and the 17th birthday. It's just on his 17th birthday. So the answer is $500, okay? All right, now let's go to the next one. B, she plans to deposit this increasing amount of money every birthday until his 20th birthday. So how much in total would she have deposited after her son's 20th birthday? Okay, now, be careful. I know that you want to do S17 because we just did U17, but you can see here that they don't want S17. They want S20, right? They want to know how much they're going to deposit from the first birthday all the way to the 20th birthday, because the key word here um, is total. How much in total, okay? First through 20th birthday. Okay, so to do, to find S20, we need to know a few numbers. And N is obviously 20. U1 is the same as it was upstairs, which is 100. We just don't know U20 yet. Okay, so let's figure out U20 really quick. U20 equals U1 plus N minus 1, which is 19, times D, which is 25, right? And uh, U1, we know, is 100, right? 100? Okay, so 100 plus 19 times 25. Let's figure that out. 100 plus 19 times 25, 575, okay, so U20 is 575, and U1 is 100, and N is 20, divided by 2, okay, so um, this is equal to 100 plus 575 is 675 times 20, times 20 divided by 2, 67.50, okay? All right, so that's how much he gets total. How much did he get for his 20th birthday? He got 575, right? How much does he get total from his first birthday to his 20th birthday? He gets $67.50, okay? Next page. The sixth term of an arithmetic sequence is 24. Calculate the first term. Okay, well, the sixth term is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d. Oh, just one thing. Let's go back here for a second. For those of you who like to use the other formula for s, we can use that too. Okay, so that's still n over 2. The difference is it's 2, oops, 2u1 plus n minus 1 times d. 
Okay, um, so n divided by 2 is 20 divided by 2. 2u is 200 because it's u1 is 100 times 2. n minus 1 is 19 times 25. And you can see that if you use your calculator to multiply this out, and, uh, you're going to get the exact same thing. You're going to get 6750. Okay, and the reason why is because this formula is pretty much the same as this formula. The only difference is instead of putting U20 here, they broke it down. U20 uh, is the same thing as doing 100 plus 25 times n minus 1, which is 19. See? So you can see that this is broken down here. Okay? So even though this formula looks different, the result's going to be the same because you're still calculating U20 before you put it in. Okay, so you can use the short version of the formula, or you can use the long version of the formula. Either way, you're going to get the same thing. Okay, on to problem two. Uh, so the sixth term is equal to the first term plus n minus 1 times d. No surprise there. Common difference is 8. Uh, we're talking about the relationship between the sixth term and the first term. But now it's kind of reversed. Usually we know the first term, we don't know the nth term. Now we know the sixth term, we don't know the first term, okay? So we're going to put 24 in for u6, and then u1 we don't know yet. Now we do know that 24 is the sixth term, so n is 6, right? So we're going to put 6 minus 1 here. So that gives us 24 equals u1 plus 7 times, oh, it's not 7 times 8, it's uh, 5 times 8, right? 5 times 8 is 40, by the way. Okay, then we're going to subtract 40 from both sides, algebra. That gives us 0 here. U1 is equal to negative 16. Okay, so that's the answer to the first part. They say calculate the first term of the sequence. The first term is negative 16. The nth term is 136. Calculate the value of n. Okay, once again, things um, <clears throat> are kind of backwards. But first we're just going to write the equation n minus 1 times d. Okay, so d is the uh, same as it was above, which is 8. n minus 1, we don't know yet, right? It says calculate the value of n. We don't know that yet. u1 is negative 16. un is they're telling us it's 136. Okay, so we have an equation where we just don't know one thing with algebra, we can figure that out. I mean, if you get to this point, you're already doing good. You've got most of the points. Um, we're going to add 16 to both sides, and then that will give us 152 equals n minus 1 times 8. Then we're going to divide 8 by both sides. And then we'll get uh, 152 divided by 8, which um, is uh, 19. If you do that on your calculator, you see it's 19. Equals n minus 1. And then we're going to add 1 to both sides, and we'll get n equals 20. So the answer is the 136 is the 20th term. Okay? And that's it.